of the president of Urukenya. He's our president. Some of us have campaigned for him for 20 years. Myself, I have voted for him four times. I have given my youthful life to him. My youthful life, I donated to Uru Kenyatta. I spend my time and resources. If you ask the people of Madeira here, I spend millions of shillings putting billboards, riding cars, asking people to register as voters. During the repeat election, I was all over the county. And above all, he's our friend. And we have no problem. If the president has decided he wants to come back home and talk to us, we are more than willing. He can call us. We are available. But because the, the previous engagements with him is a monologue, it's him shouting at us and abusing us and telling us off and making us feel useless and making us feel small. But if he has changed his heart and he has awakened to the political realities, but he has lost the grip of this region and wants to engage with us, we are more than ready. And mostly we would want to discuss with him the stored projects for the roads, for water, and about reviving the economy. We think we can have a good discussion with the president because in our view, uh, that is what is most important, that he can use the remaining 11 months to redeem his image and get back his legacy on track. But if he is to call us to talk about Abaddon and William Ruto, we have no time. And we are not available. That's not an option. If he is to call us to discuss about his succession, we are not available. We think he should do what President Kibaki did. Just retire peacefully and go home. And leave Kenyans to choose their next president. But if he wants to discuss the economy, if he wants us to discuss with us the stored projects, if he wants to discuss with us the revival of the economic fortunes of our people in this region. 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., up to midnight, the whole night, we are more than available. He's our president and he's our friend. By the way, we have nothing personal. We have no issues with him at a personal level. We are only disagreeing with him to try to dictate to us whom we should support. That we have refused and we cannot be intimidated. We have a problem with him of using the criminal justice system to harass and intimidate and persecute those of us who are refusing to follow what he wants. There we have a problem, but we have nothing personal. We just have a problem about his approach to his succession, where he wants to manage it, where he wants to dictate to people what they'll do, where he has no time to listen to any other opinion. There we have a minor problem. Nobody has the numbers to impeach uh, Justin Mufuri. So Justin Mufuri should be encouraged to continue pursuing his destiny and pursuing his dream. All dreams are valid. He cannot follow Uru Kenyatta. Uru Kenyatta is retiring. It will be foolish to follow him. He is retiring in another 11 months. So he must uh, you know, uh, arrange his political future in this country. In the Hustle Nation, I told him in Embu, he is more than welcome. Our house is big, there is space for everyone. But we can only know what is there for him when he's inside. We, ca we cannot talk about what he can do or what role we can give him when he's outside. It's upon him to make a decision. The country is with the Hassan Nation. The region where he comes from is 100% William Ruto. So once he makes a decision to come to the Hassan Nation behind William Ruto, we will look around and with his experience and the national stature and see where he can play a role. But the house is big. And he's more than welcome. Right. And my Mudavadi, of Raida Odinga, of uh, Alonso Musioka, and Fred Matiani. So let us not play politics with security. The matter is too sensitive for games. But be as it may, the Deputy President has faced many challenges. And he has taken all of them in stride. All his duties were taken away from him and given to Fred Matiani, and the country stopped. Nothing goes on. He is not invited to cabinet meetings. He is not invited to the National Security Council. He is not involved in any affairs of government that he helped form and that he worked so hard. And he has never complained and he is okay. I don't think the withdrawal of security will distract him. He is busy and focused on coming up 
with a bottom-up economic model and preparing his party, the United Democratic Alliance, in preparation for the general elections. So much as we are concerned about what would happen if anything was to happen to him and the casual manner the Madrins at Harambe House are handling matter of security, we are least both hands and we are not distracted and we will just continue with what we need to do. We'll be coming back from Speaker Justin Muturi is a respected leader in this region. He is a man of integrity and a man who has performed very well as speaker. And all of us in the National Assembly have a lot of respect for him. But I think he is also clever that he is trying to organize himself ahead of the succession because he is still a very young person with a great future. And we want to encourage him to organize himself ahead. And what he has done is the right thing. He will be foolish to do what some people who are blindly following a government that's leaving office in 11 months because that is suicide. And I can tell you, many careers will be destroyed by this government. People who are following this government blindly will be left stranded. How do you follow a government that is going home in 11 months blindly? You must chart your own political future. And that is what Justin Muturi is doing. I don't think anybody can frustrate Justin Muturi. To get rid of him as speaker, you'd have to convince 233 of us. And we cannot be convinced. We are solidly behind him. And nobody can touch him. It's the same way they tried to impeach Ruto. They can't get the numbers. Nobody has the numbers to impeach uh, Justin Muturi.